I made a practice mod called Mystic for the GameCube versions of Scooby-Doo and Night of 100 Frights, and in this video I'm going to go over some of the features included that will hopefully now make learning and practicing Scooby a much easier time. For a guide on how to install the mod, I will leave a link in the description below. On the main menu, you won't find many differences aside from a different title card image and an option to explore which lets you move around, but this is just for fun and has no practical use. The real changes start when you press new game and are loaded into the new settings area instead of the usual hub. Here you will find every power up in the entire game, including the map in the form of Holly's model, so that you can pick and choose which ones you want for that certain practice session. There are also gum and soap upgrades which grant you 100 ammo each, and there is a shaggy on the right which can be used to set up shaggy storage if you need to practice a level with that. Next I'll describe the button shortcuts you can use to activate certain features in all levels. To use these combinations, you first press the button and then press the next one within a half a second window of time. So firstly, there is L and then start, which kills Scooby and reloads the current room immediately. There's also L and Y, which reloads the current room, but from the beginning of the level. Z and R plus Y reloads the current room, but from an alternate entrance. L and X will give you the hot source speed boost, which lasts for 7 seconds unless you don't leave the ground, in which case it will last forever. L and D-pad up enables infinite float, which lets you glide upwards with the umbrella. This can be disabled using L and D-pad down. L and D-pad right will give you 1000 snacks, and L and D-pad left will give you 1 health. L and Z and R lets you instantly void warp from anywhere in a level. There's also a Z and L on the pause menu, which enables a controllable camera, which can be turned in four different directions using D-pad left and D-pad right. Unfortunately, the C-stick would not work. You can also do ZR on the pause menu to create a checkpoint anywhere in a level, so that when you die, you can spawn there which is useful for retrying one specific area quickly. There are also a couple of new sections on the pause menu. If you press X to expand the main menu, you have the option to open the level select, which is just the map, except you can warp to any level by pressing A on it. You can open the save machine, which allows you to save anywhere, the warp gate, which is just a warp gate from the pause menu, and settings area will teleport you back to the main settings level. There are also some new options by expanding the menu in the Quick Game section. You can press Auto PS, which automatically simulates doing a pause storage, and you can also select Stop Screen Darkening, which prevents all screen fades, including the black screen which usually occurs when doing pause storage. Most importantly, there are new settings which can only be accessed in the settings area. In this level, the map is replaced with Level Select, and that's how you exit, and the options are now replaced with Settings. It contains the regular options you would find anywhere, but also four new additional settings. These are all permanent and can only be removed by loading a new game. Firstly, there is coordinates mode, which simply put, shows your current level coordinates at the top of the screen at all times, and also the level's file name. Then there are the two reset modes, reset all from death and reset all from load. What these will do is reset everything in a level, either when Scooby dies, or when you reload, or both, depending on which you have selected. And these modes will reset absolutely everything in a level, including snacks, keys, monster tokens, cutscene triggers, gates, pretty much reverting the level to a fresh state every time you reset it. The only downside to this is that snacks which fall to the ground won't reset properly, and the reset from death mode will cause flowers to act weird. So for the levels this affects, I wouldn't recommend using these modes. But aside from that, this is the next best thing to just having save states on console. And lastly, we have the option to enable level specific options. What this does is it gives you a prompt in each relevant level to activate something to help with that area. For example, GGS has a GGS trainer UI, which will tell you whether each of your jumps are early or late. Coast 1 has a fish cringe helper, which shows an example in-game of where you want to ideally position the fish. BKE and 750 skip allow you to see the invisible walls. Coast 3 and Greenhouse 1 lets you switch between their 1.0 and 1.1 level changes. Most levels will let you see an important cutscene trigger, and much more. 
I won't go into every single level specific option because that would take forever, but essentially, for most of the main skips and tricks in the game, there is something designed to help, primarily for newer runners learning the game. That's it for the main features of Mystic so far. If you encounter any issues that aren't listed on this sign in the first level, or you simply have some ideas for things I can add or change, then either comment on this video or DM me on Discord. I hope this mod can help some people learn and improve at the game faster. I'll leave a link to the Scooby Speedrunning server in the description as always if you're interested in learning the game yourself. As for this channel, I know I've been inactive for a while, but I'm interested in working on more bigger videos again, as well as doing more modding for Scooby on the side. That's all for this video, thanks for watching.